Jaguar Show on JiggyJaguar.com. Welcome back to 50 plus AM FM stations across the country and around the world. I Heart Radio as well. Live on our app at JiggyJaguar.us. You can stream the show live, 24-7 replay, exclusive news and programming information. Red Nation Radio today. KFRK in Denver, Colorado. World Radio Network. Our complete list is available at JiggyJaguar.com. Radio and television all over the place. Check us out today. We're going to talk about radio and TV's missed opportunities here in a few moments. (laughs) Oh, that's going to be fun. We're going to talk about that, but uh, before we do that, we've got a great new marketing partner with us today at Transmedia Worldwide. Let's talk a little bit about these folks. GoFundMe.com. That's right. Support MS stem cell trials and empower the disabled. We're raising funds to support the USA stem cell trials and to build a portal to empower the disabled to learn how to make money at home based on their disability or the devices they have available. Dawn is doing some amazing, amazing work. Check out GoFunny.com. Search, support MS, stem cell trials, and empower the disabled. Or go to Dawn's website, DisabledArena.com. That's D I S. A B L E D A R E N A dot C O M. And tell them you heard about it here, Transmedia Worldwide. And uh, <laughs> we've got a. We're going we're gonna to talk about the radio industry's missed opportunities here in just a few moments. Now, this is based upon a. Uh, a Jim Bohannon uh, re uh with his employer, Western One. Uh, Jim Bohannon, I thought at one point, was going to retire. I thought he had retired. <laughs> I thought he had retired from the business. But the overnight Jim Bohannon show is heard on more than 250 affiliate stations across the country via Western One. Today, the company reports that it's signed Bohannon to a multi-year new contract to continue hosting the show beyond its current 33rd year. As part of the new deal, Westwood One is launching a new Jim Bohannon podcast and Best of Bohannon program, which is already slated to air on affiliates including WLS out of Chicago, WBAP in Dallas, KXL in Portland, and WTMJ Milwaukee, and many more. I always love many more. Many more means that they're going to put in a bunch of affiliates that nobody's ever freaking heard of. But they don't want to. They don't want to put that out. They want to be like, well, you know, and many more. <laughs> That's how the radio industry works. I've said this on this broadcast many a time. I don't dislike radio. I love radio. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> I'm going to be doing a lot of it uh, today, tomorrow, and the next day because we're going to be going to Las Vegas for the Adult Video News Awards, and I need to be able to provide programming to our affiliates. I understand. I completely understand what it's going to take what the hell is that what it's going to take to get the job done I get that I get that period but here's the deal I got news for you I got news for you um the the part of the story here that makes me a little angry Makes me a little upset. <laughs> is the fact that they go, well, they're going to launch a new podcast. As part of the deal, Westwood One is launching a new Jim Bohannon podcast. Okay. 
the radio industry. Years and years and years ago. Could have. They could have done this. They could have put the death nail to podcasting. Myself and Frank Catolo often refers to uh, to this um, the world of podcasting and ra- and, and, and all that we refer to it as what it should have been called. And it's a lot sexier term than um, podcasting. Podcasting is a word that that people came up with because they thought it would be cool, and various various things of that nature. But let me tell you about podcasting. Podcasting was archived audio. On-demand audio. That's what it should have been called. That's what it was called by the radio industry for several years. Archive audio. On-demand audio. This or that. Well, I got some news for you. That's what it still is. On-demand audio. (laughs) Jesus. They always come in threes. Oh, I'm probably getting sick. I would almost assume I get sick two or three times during the winter. But here's the deal. On-demand audio. Radio had an opportunity to stop and kill podcasting. They did. They could have done something called on-demand audio. But they were too busy not paying attention to anything. They could have stopped podcasting because they had something called on-demand audio. They could have stopped internet radio. Internet radio kind of stopped itself. (laughs) The people that, the people that controlled internet radio and were involved in internet radio and the people that were, that, that could have stopped that. They, 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 they put the, they put the knives in their own back. Streaming audio, which is basically internet radio. Um, now there's the apps. Apps are a big deal now. And radio could have stopped apps too. <laughs> but they chose to ignore that as well. So here's the thing, radio, you idiots. You could have stopped all this. You chose not to. Now, hold on. I did mention that TV is involved in this segment. (laughs) TV is another one that could have stopped this. Cable TV. Could have stopped all this crap. And, uh, in fact, we're going to do this. We're going to give TV its own segment. (laughs) I'm going to give TV its own segment. I'm going to beat the shit out of TV on its own. We're going to take another time out. When we come back, we got more. Here on our... 